Hi, my name is Justin Brian Asian. My metric number is 23DKM19F1012. Today, I'm going to talk about the equipments used in lead machine. First, aluminium. Aluminium is a silver, white, soft, and ductile metal. The chief ore of aluminium is bauxite. Low density of metal and can resist the corrosion. Widely used in cooking utensils transportation and packaging then the lathe machine machine used to produce the part where the turning facing taper grooving and knurling process operates operation can be done third I'm going to talk about bench saw machine cut the aluminium rod continuously where the speed of cutting can be adjusted next the Werner caliper Werner caliper is used to measure the object part produced with 0.02 mm precision. Now I'm going to talk about the rotating lead center. It ensures that the workpiece was old at the center and used as a support for the long work piece. The knurling tool, a tool used to make a pattern on the workpiece surface where it makes the round part easy to hold. Next, the drill chuck used to make a hole in the workpiece with various kind of diameter. For the cutting tools, sharp tool bead used to remove the unwanted source surface to produce a part. The chuck key used to tighten the chuck from clamping process lastly the spacing spacing is used to add the height of the knurling tools okay, my name is Povinder and I am from DKM 4A my metric number is 23 DKM 19F1131 ok now I am going to share the safety procedure for the late machine ok the first thing is always listen carefully to the lecturer and follow the instruction okay the second thing is do not run in the workshop you could bump into another pupil and cause an accident okay the third thing is you should know where the emergency buttons are positioned in the workshop if you see an accident at the other side of the workshop you can use the emergency button stop button to turn off the all electrical power to machines okay then wear good strong shoe training shoe are not suitable we should wear the strongest safety boot when attempting practical work all stool should be put away okay bag should not be brought into a workshop as people can trip over them after that always wear an apron as it will protect your clothes and all loses clothing such as ties in when learning how to use a machine, listen very carefully to all the instructions given by lecturer. Ask questions especially if you do not fully understand. Okay. Then do not use a machine if you have not been shown how to operate it safely by the lecturer. After that, always be patient, never rush into the workshop. After that, always use a guard when working on a machine. Okay, keep hands away from moving or rotating machinery. Use hand tools carefully, keeping both hands behind the cutting edge. Finally, report any damage to machines or equipment as this could cause an accident. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Muhammad Syekh Akmal daripada kelas DKM 4A 23 DKM 19F1008. Okey, uh, hari ini saya ingin menerangkan tentang pasal uh, letter machine di mana equipment letter machine ada beberapa komponen equipment yang ada pada letter machine seperti bed, headstock assembly, headstock assembly, carriage, cross slide, compound and turret. Uh, Okey, bed. Bed ni mostly uh, apa yang kita boleh panggil sebagai base lah. Okay, kalau dia punya 
apa definition ni the bed of the turning machine is simply the large base of the side on the ground or a table that support the other component of machine ok so basically dia adalah base lah headstock assembly the headstock assembly is is the front section of the machine that attached to the bed assembly contain the motor the drive system which power the spider the spider support the rotates of the workpiece which secure in the workpiece holder or fixture such as chuck or collet ok itu untuk definition headstock assembly tailstock assembly the tailstock assembly is the rear section of the machine that is attached to the bed the purpose of this assembly is to support the other end of the workpiece and allow it to rotate as it driven by the spindle for some turning operation the workpiece is not supported by the tailstock so the material can be removed by the end for carriage the carriage is a platform that slide alongside the workpiece allowing the cutting tool to cut away material as it moves the carriage is set on the track that lays on the bed called waves and it advanced by the lead screw powered by a motor or hand wheel, hand wheel. Okay, cross light. The cross light is attached to the top of the carriage then and allow the tool to remove, to move towards and away from the workpiece, changing the depth of cut as it, as with the carriage, the cross light is powered by motor or hand wheel. Compound. The compound is attached to the top of cross slide and support the cutting tool. The cutting tool is secured in the tool post which is fixed the compound and the compound can rotate to alter the angle of cutting to relative to the workpiece. Turret. Some machine is included, include a turret which can hold multiply cutting tool and rotate required to tool into position to cut the workpiece. The turret also move along the workpiece, feeding the cutting into the material which most cutting tools are stationary in the turret. Life tooling can also be used. Life tooling refers to power tools such as miles, drill, realms, traps and which rotate and cut for workpiece. Okay. Selamat sejahtera, nama saya Yashwin Naya, nombor metrik 23 DKM 19F1022. So hari ni saya akan bentangkan sedikit tentang procedures of single point threading untuk lead machine. So pertama, kita kena set the speed about one quarter of the speed using for turning. Kedua, set the quick change gearbox for the required pitch in threads. Tiga, set the compound rest at 29 degrees to the right for right hand threads. Keempat, install a 60 degree threading tool bit and set the height to the lead center point. Kelima, set the tool bit and a right angle to the work using a thread gauge. Keenam, using a layout solution, code the area to be threaded. Ketujuh, move the threading tool up to the part using both the compound and the cross feed. And then set the micrometer to zero on both dials. And then Move crossfit to the back tool of the work and move the carriage to the end of the part and reset the crossfit to zero. Lepas tu, kita kena uh, using only the compound micrometer, feed in about 0 0.001 to 0 0.002 inch. And then, kita kena turn on the lead and engage the half nut. Lepas tu, take a scratch cut on the part without cutting fluid and disengage the half nut at the end of the cut stop the lead and back out the tool using the cross feed and then return the carriage to the starting position first two using a screw pitch gauge or a ruler check the thread pitch next feed the compound in 0.005 to 0.020 inch for the first pass using cutting oil as you get near the final size, reduce the depth of cut to 0.001 to 0.002 inch and then check the size using a screw thread, micrometer, a thread gauge or using the 3 wire system 
and last chamfer the end of the thread to protect it from damage itu saja tentang uh, single point threading untuk lead machine sekian terima kasih